All right, so let's see if we can do this last exercise in this exercise suite. I might be adding more later on, but th th for now, this is the last exercise. Uh, it seems like Intern has a pretty good idea or a suggestion here that we add, make it possible to use subheaders without using the full HTML format. Allowing people to have the full HTML format is kind of a security risk uh, because you can embed uh, bad, well, um, evil uh, scripts and stuff using full HTML. So, uh, let's see here. Here's the article being edited. Uh, H2, and let's change this back to, well, let's uh, change to filter HTML and save. and see what it looks like. It is plain text. Um, now, I'm gonna keep this, this tab open to see when or if it changes. Then, uh, to change this, we we'll go into configuration. And somewhere here is the uh, text formats, content authoring, here it is, text formats. That tells us uh, how the different text formats work, and we can add new text formats as well. Let's edit this filtered HTML thing. Configure. Dum, dum, dum. And here, down here, uh, well, it, it, it contains a number of settings and stuff. Uh, who should be able to use it? Well, editors should be able to use this. Um, and down here at the bottom, we have uh, limit allowed HTML tags and the list of allowed HTML tags. So here we just add the h2, the h3, and the h4 ta tags and save configuration. And with doing this, I think all the content on the site saved with plain, well, with filtered HTML format will have their caches cleared. And because this, this text is rendered and cleaned and stuff, and run through the filter and then saved, so it, uh, Drupal doesn't have to rebuild that text every time reprocess it. Uh, but I think that cache is cleared. So if I reload, it is now a subheader still using the filtered HTML format. All right, that's pretty nice. Uh, we should, you should be aware that doing things like this, if I go back to text formats, that allows all these people to use H2, H3, and H4, which, if they're used excessively or, or things like that, might have an impact on your uh, search engine ranking and search engine well, how search engines view your site because the H2, H3, and H4 tell search engines and robots about um, what is important on the page. So if people start posting comments using this uh, filtered HTML format and adding a lot of H2 titles and stuff, it might be a bit weird. But usually uh, this is a good thing to do. You can, of course, remove, say, anonymous user from this a text format and only give it to trusted users or add another text format that is only used by editors or administrators and things. And that's quite all right. Yeah, okay. Um, that's it for this exercise series. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the next one. See you there. Goodbye.